tells us that term 7 of a geometric sequence is 8 and term 13 is 512, determine term 20. Now, if you watched my previous question on question 9, I said how a lot of students do sometimes struggle with these questions because they try to figure it out in their head and they, they do all these weird kind of stuff. But all you need to do is use the formula. So they say that it's geometric and then you just fill everything in. So they say term 7 is equal to 8. So you say 8 equals to A, we don't know, R, we don't know. It's term number 7, so we say 7 minus 1. And so we can just neaten this up a little bit. 7 minus 1 is 6. There we go, we can't go any further. So then what we do is we go to the next piece of information, which tells us that term 13 is 512. So we say 512 equals to A, R, 13 minus 1. And so I'm just going to simplify that to become 12. There we have it, two equations with two unknowns. Now, this some students battle with this part, but all you need to do is get, what I would advise you to do is get A by itself, either using this one or using this one. You could get R alone, but it wouldn't be nice. So I'm going to get A alone here by saying 8 over R to the 6. Now I'm going to take this and plug it into the place of A, over here. And so that's going to say 512 equals to A, which is now 8 over R6. You can put it in a bracket if you want, multiplied by R12. Now, students always ask me, okay, Kevin, what do we do now? Well, what I tell them to do is just pretend that this has a 1 over it. Now, we don't really need these brackets. Now, what you're doing is you're just multiplying across. So it just becomes 512 equals to 8. Sorry, I'm rewriting the same thing, it just becomes 8R12 over R6. Now R12 over R6 just becomes R6. So we have 8R to the 6. Then we can divide by 8, which is 64. You then take the sixth root, like this, and so R would eventually equal 2. Now we can get A by plugging that answer back into here. So A is going to be 8 over 2 to the power of 6. And that will be 1 over 8. Now the question says find term 20. So we just use this formula. And we say that term 20 is equal to A, which we've now found as 1 over 8. R is 2 and N is 20. Go ahead, type that in. And we get an answer of 6, 5, 5, 3, 6.